Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Simpson here. I have really missed each and every one of you. Um, we have not been together because of COVID-19. So we've had to do distance learning. I'm so proud of each and every one of you for completing assignments, turning them in, reading the instructions, following the instructions, and you guys have done an amazing job. So today, I'm coming to you via um, a video, an instructional video, to teach you about our next lesson. Our next le lesson will be over frotage. So before we get started, can we pray together? Okay. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now. We thank you that you have protected us during this time. We thank you for your provision. We thank you for your love. And we thank you for your peace. Lord, most importantly, we thank you for your son, Jesus, who died on the cross for our sins. We thank you, Father, that no matter what is going on in the world right now, we can depend on you because you are a loving God. So right now, Lord, I just ask that you will come in during this time of fellowship with one another um, so that I could teach my students and guide them through the next lesson. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Well, just like I said, you're going to learn about frotage. Well, frotage, F-R-O-T-T-A-G-E, frotage art, what that is, that is just simply a technique. And the technique is simply creating texture. So frotage is creating texture. So the way that you create the texture is by taking something with texture, laying a sheet of paper over it, and rubbing a pencil, charcoal, um, crayons, anything like that to create texture. So the first thing that you're gonna do for our assignment is you're gonna go look around your home for things with texture. So I'll give you some examples. For example, I found some leaves. So these are texture. It's texture on this because you have the vines in the leaves. Um, so this will create texture. Also, I found my, this is something that you put a pot on, your pot, um, so to keep the pot from burning your countertop. So I went and found this, and this has texture around the top of it. See all those ridges and stuff? And let me zoom in on the leaves. The leaves have texture. So you can go find leaves outside or leaf outside. Then I found this wooden board that I had. It's a plaque that you hang on the wall, but it has texture. It has ridges in it. If you can see that, ridges, and then it has this metal piece that's going to create the texture for me as well. I found this little plastic um just a piece of plastic with some holes in it. I found this, and that's going to create texture. Also, some wooden spatulas. That's going to create texture. When I rub over this, this will create texture as well. Then I found a placemat. Look at all these wonderful ridges in this placemat. And that will create texture. 
And all you're going to need is paper and some kind of pencils, crayons, or colored pencils. So I'm choosing to use pencils only to create my texture. So I'll be right back and we're going to start the lesson. I'm going to give you an example and then you will be able to do it at home. So for this assignment, you're going to have to create two compositions. Say it with me. Two compositions. Say it with me again. Two different compositions. Okay? So we're going to create two. And it's going to be fun. The first thing I'm going to do is grab my paper. I'm going to grab the items that I'm going to use, which is going to be the leaves and all the items that I showed you in the video before. First, I'm going to start with my leaves. What you do is you place them up under the paper and I'm going to start designing how I want to lay out my leaves for my composition. So I think I want to lay the first leaf right in the middle. So all I will be doing is rubbing over the leaf with a pencil. I'm using a colored pencil. And this is how we create frotage. Which is, like I explained to you in the first video, it is just simply creating technique, I'm sorry, texture in your design. So it adds texture to your design. Then I think I want to take the same leaf and I want to flip it over and assemble it in a different direction just to create a beautiful design to me. But you can design your composition any way that you want to. So I will use the other leaf and add texture down here to come up and continue with my composition. with the same color with my leaves but you can do whatever you want to do in your design I'm going to assemble a couple more leaves around just infuse a couple of more leaves into my design But you see how easy this project is. Very easy, yet it's fun. It's really fun to do. You'll see once you get started, you'll look all around the house for different 
items because creating the texture will become very interesting to you. So, once I'm done with those leaves, I think I'm going to grab my little plastic piece that I found and I'm going to incorporate that texture into my composition. And I'm going to go with a, another shade of blue. grab some of that texture and infuse it right in the middle of my leaf. Right on top of it. Let's see, I'll go in another direction now. But you can be as creative as you would like with your design. You don't have to use, like I said, different shades of color, but it will make your design more interesting. See that? And actually, I'm going to take this texture and I'm going to shade over my leaves just a little bit more just to kind of grab some of that color into the leaves. 